Hi and welcome to the Excited Wanderer channel. Aside from Seoul or Busan, Jeju Island is another top destination in Korea with its own delicious food and plenty of wonderful scenery to take in. In case you're heading there someday, here are the top 5 things you need to do in Jeju Island. Climb Mount Halasan You're actually climbing a dormant volcano that's smack in the middle of Jeju Island. Mount Halasan National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site famous for its natural beauty, beautiful crater lake, and great views. There are a couple of trails you can take with different distances you have to cover to get to the top. The easiest trail would be the Song Panak Trail, a 9.6km hike one way and would take between 7 to 9 hours to return. The trail with the best views is the 8.7km one way Kwanum Sa Trail, but there are also shorter trails like the Yongshil Trail, which is only 3.7 kilometers one way and would take about 2 hours to return. Now, you need to know that the weather at the base of the mountain might be nice and warm, but at the top, there may be strong winds and it can get very cold. So make sure you bring extra clothing as well as snacks and water for the hike. Manjangkul Cave Yet another UNESCO World Heritage Site, this cave was formed 2.5 million years ago by flowing lava. Inside, you'll find plenty of natural formations like long lava, stalagmites, and lava tube tunnels. The cave walls are lit with different colored lighting that helps to add to the eerie sense of the cave. A few words of advice, you might hear some flapping noises because bats do live in the cave. Also, the air inside the cave is colder than the outside, usually between 11 Celsius to 21 degrees Celsius. So, best to bring an extra cardigan or jacket to keep yourself warm. Finally, wear proper shoes, not heels, because the floor can be damp and uneven. The last thing you'd want is to slip and fall and then hurting yourself in a cave. Teddy Bear Museum this is for people who love quirky things. The Teddy Bear Museum is well known throughout Korea and maybe even the world. There are displays of thousands of teddy bears from all over the world, most of which have been carefully designed and created by hand. The museum is inside the Jongmon Tourist Complex and it is great for kids and adults who love teddy bears. For adults, you will need to pay 10,000 won or about $8.50 US dollars while kids pay 8,000 won or about $6.70. Loveland. This is a theme park that's focused on the art of making love, with displays of sexual and erotic nature. There are about 140 statues of men and women in different stages of nudity, while others are portrayed in various sexual positions. You'd have to be over 18 years of age to enter, but don't worry if you're traveling with kids. There's a recreation area where you can drop them off while you go into the park and explore. This attraction is only 10 minutes away from the airport, so it's a great first or last stop on Jeju Island. It is open from 9am to midnight and has an entrance fee of 12,000 won or 10 US dollars per adult. Jeju Folk Village If you're a fan of the Korean drama Jewel in the Palace, or you just wanted to see what life was like for the people living on this island in the 1890s, then this attraction is for you. There are over 100 traditional houses with more than 8,000 artifacts to show how people lived back in the day. The folk village consists of four areas, the mountain village, hill country village, fishing village, and shamanism village. To really immerse yourself in the surroundings, you should consider renting a hanbok or traditional clothing and then take photos in some of the buildings. As this area is huge and you have some ground to cover, you should take your time and spare about 3 hours so you can explore to your heart's content. Entrance fee for adults costs 11,000 won or about 9 US dollars, while kids are 7,000 won or about 6 US dollars. What do you think of this episode and which of the things that mentioned here are your favorite? Let me know in the comments. As usual, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get notified of future updates. And I'll see you in the next episode.